I recently had the opportunity to look into rendering of lights for one of our clients and I gained respect for Enscape not because of the super high quality of rendering which it doesn't give but of the real-time feedback in a view as you can see over here we've got a space with some lights I'm just going to switch on the sun settings and you can see that the time of the year I'll set it back to about 8 o'clock at night still ok it's really easy to use let's go through to Enscape this is the add-on there's some settings that you can give pretty much the exposure that you can set and that's a little bit bright and then also some more settings with the image and so on it's not very much that you can set it's nothing like um, V-Ray or, or so on but you'll see it in a moment over here you can see you can also switch on a headset at any time and enable virtual reality so you can look around with the headset here we set the view that we want to be in and we hit start you can see Enscape brings up its control and just like that we've got this beautiful rendering of the space yes it's not super high quality but it is good enough and look at that you can look around and in real time these photometric web files the IES files is generating the lighting that we want to see so for a lighting engineer this is actually really not bad let's see what happens when we dial down the lights a little bit it's not necessary to exit Enscape we just go back to Revit let's go and edit the type properties of this light Go and have a look at the photometric web file that they've got here and here we can see the initial intensity the wattage and let's dial this down let's see what effect this will have go back to the Enscape and automatically it updates with a less light being emitted from these light types unfortunately it isn't possible within Revit to go and switch off this light if we look at this mark of the light it's 4 if we go to the rendering settings you can see this doesn't really have an impact on the uh, Enscape rendering so switch off this light number 4 ok go back to the Enscape rendering unfortunately there's no effect so I don't have to have a workaround with Enscape to to switch off that light one would have to maybe create a different type of light remove the IES file uh, remove the light source from a type and then switch the type in and out with one of these lights if you want to switch them off so this is great and what I found it truly amazing is yes one can now exit uh, take that to a file an image Let's quickly put that over here. Save that as a PNG. And we're also allowed to screenshot it to a rendering. Within the project browser, that will now generate. It will generate over here in a short moment. Here you can see is the 
PNG that we wrote out. Not bad for real time. I think you would. And here you can see the rendering within our project. This could now easily be placed on a sheet. Wow. This is truly amazing. But the best is yet to come. So you want to get this idea across to a client. Yes. Let's go and create an .exe file. Now what is interesting about this is that we can save this file out as an .exe file that somebody else that wants to view this file needs no software for. They don't need to install Revit. They don't need to install Enscape. They don't need a browser. All they need is a computer. And then they need to run the .exe file. Let's go and open that .exe file. There it is. I'm going to close down Revit. I'm going to close down Enscape. So there's no Revit, there's no Enscape, and let's just hit this project .exe. So imagine you've got a computer, no software installed. sent this file to the client, shared this file with the client, and look at that. There is the rendering. Just like we had this before. So I'm running this on a little laptop. It's got a GTX 950M graphics card. If you had something better, the results would be even better. But look at that. Oh wow. That is amazing. Right? omnidirectional render. Now look at this. Ah, we can move around. Now how amazing is this? With zero fuss. And look at that. You can toggle between walk and fly. I'm walking now and we are going down the stairs. So, when you can't hook virtual reality up to this, but in Enscape Live and Revit you can, this is looking at the virtual controllers, the virtual reality controllers that one can navigate Enscape with when it's live operated from within Revit. It's not the EXE export. You can see there's a move button and a twist and rotate. So there it wasn't actually my head rotating but rather the controller moving my head position up and down or uh, translating it left or right, rotating it. So that is the, uh, the one controller that's again moving. There are of course better ways to do this on the right hand controller there's some more controls that make this easier. You can also walk forwards and backwards and have a look around with the headset as is. But this is just for the interest of learning. <coughs> so on the right hand side there we can see we've got time on the side of the controller. If you press the button and push it up or down you can make it later or earlier in the evening. Uh, that is quite useful if you want to see the effect. There we can see making it daylight. Now <coughs> we have the elevate button. Elevate can change one's he head height up or down. And then there's the teleport. So combining all of the controls, I'm going to try and have a look at this guy's face. The guy who's standing over here and see how good it is. Wow, not bad. And move. Now I'm using the left hand control to move a little bit forward and also putting my head right into his space. There we go. So using the uh, teleporting tool that's nice and quick to go long distances. And there we can see what that looks like. A real pleasure to use. 
Right, so let's see if we can generate a, a short walkthrough here within Enscape. On Revit are the controls. Let's set the start position. Let's navigate to a different position. And set that as the stop position. And let's preview the video. So I'm going to try and show this to you now. The preview of video. Look at the bottom of the screen. It's going to hover over that little control. There is the preview of the video. And then let's export the video. You can see panorama also. Wow, this is amazing stuff, guys. So we're exporting the video. The ease at which this is done is incredible. I must say I've turned into quite a fan of uh, Enscape over the last week think it's a great package. So here you can see it's busy exporting the video. Right, so the video is exported. Let's go and have a look what it looks like. Right, so here is the video that uh, we created. As you can see, not super quality, but it's good to give an impression. So Enscape, really amazing, guys. Um, enjoy it. If you want to come and experience it at Micrographics, remember we've got a virtual reality center. It's fantastic. We can show you not only Enscape, but a lot of other products that you can consider of using in uh, doing your visualizations. Awesome stuff. Enjoy Enscape.